have a very special guest, Los Angeles Dodgers outfielder Mookie Betts, joining us online here at the beautiful office of the American Chamber of Commerce in Korea. He is one of the best players in Major League Baseball, the four-time All-Star, who recently, to our surprise, posted a video promoting the start of the 2020 Korea Baseball Organization season and its star players. The video has excited a lot of baseball fans here in Korea, and he will be shooting more of these contents promoting Korean culture and baseball, so it's time for us to know more about Mookie and his love for Korea. Thank you for joining us, Mookie. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before we get into the interview session, could you please say hi to our Korean baseball fans? Annyeonghaseyo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, let's start off with talking a bit about your life during this COVID-19 pandemic. So what are you up to these days amid the coronavirus outbreak? And how are you preparing yourself for the upcoming MLB season? Uh, I'm just just been enjoying myself. I've uh, been around the family a lot uh, with my little daughter. She's she's one turning two in November, so just spending time with her. I've been working out. Um, not a whole lot of baseball activity. Been hitting some, but more just enjoying my time at home because I know when the season starts, you know it's going to be every day. And so, uh, but yes, I am kind of, you know kind of getting ready. And as as time gets closer, it seems like I'm you know hitting a little more and doing a couple more things. But definitely trying to. Uh, take each and every day to enjoy my time at home. So I'll have to ask some questions about the KBO video you uploaded on your okay, social okay. media. Yeah, I love the video and it was so unexpected. Thank you. So what made you Thank shoot you. this video? And uh, since when have you been interested in Korean baseball? As, as things were kind of going on, I just kind of watched how Korea handled the whole situation. I think you guys did an amazing job with um, you know, opening everything back up, you know, kind of getting through it and then opening everything back up. And and so I knew, obviously, baseball was going to kind of open up and I was excited to, to just, I was excited to see it. And, and and so that's kind of what sparked it. And I would talk to my agents and said, you know, let's make a video to, to reach out and, and get the star players, get their names known globally. I feel like that uh, that's something that's kind of been on my mind. And so that's kind of how it all sparked me. So, are you familiar with Korean players, or are there any like particular teams or players that you're rooting for? Um, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily rooting for anybody. There's some guys that um, I enjoy watching. I definitely don't have a team that I per se, like like watching per se. But I know uh, Lee Jung Hoo and Kung Pek Ho. They they've been like the, the the guys that I've been watching the most. I think they. Uh, I think they have some potential in, in coming over to the U.S. one day, and we'll see how it goes. So one thing I found really surprising was your Korean pronunciation when you were naming some uh -huh. of the Korean players in your video. So did you practice a lot for the video? I had a great teacher. Uh, you know, obviously it took a lot of practice uh, trying to fix my, my mouth to say, to make the different movements and whatnot. But Rebecca at Red Phoenix, she, uh, she did an amazing job with uh, breaking it down for me and helping me pronounce all the names and uh, really she she did most of it but I had a great team around me to, to help. Was it a lot difficult to pronounce those names? A few a few were a few were tough but uh, I you know I took it on as a challenge you know I need some competition right now so it seemed like that's what I used uh, to, to get my competition fixed. And watching the KBO season start how did you feel about the non-audience live baseball game? Uh, I mean, obviously fans are super important with, uh, with you know, it's sports in general. But I think, you know, I think it's just exciting to be back out and play baseball, um, especially for us. And so I think, uh, it, you know, it's kind of weird, but on the, on the other side, you know, I'm just happy to see baseball being played. Excited, hopefully, to play soon. And now let's talk more about Korean baseball. What are your overall thoughts on the KBO League? Um, I think it's just, uh, it's, it's, you know, obviously a lot of passion. It's really similar to the MLB. Um, a lot of passion that kind of goes on. I'm sure, you know, a lot of, a lot of work behind the scenes, just like, uh, you know, everything else. But uh, that, the main thing I see is just the love and the passion that, that, uh, that goes on each and every game. It's just exciting to watch. What do you think are the major differences between MLB and KBO in terms of baseball culture and fan culture? 
Um, I think the fans are, are similar. Uh, but, you know, obviously, there's a lot of love for teams there, just like a lot of love for teams here. Uh, I, I, it's tough to say the the differences, other than like the bat flips, the celebrations. I think those are the main the main differences in, from the KBO and the MLB. But um, I think everything is pretty close to the same. Speaking of bat flips, bat flips are normally considered disrespectful in MLB, but in, here in Korea, it's a huge source of entertainment. What what do you think right. about South Korean players bat flipping? Uh, I mean, I think it's you know, I, it's fun. I mean, I don't necessarily do it. Uh, just I, there's been uh, maybe one, one or two, maybe two times that I've ever done a bat flip, and it wasn't on purpose. It was just kind of in the flow and the emotion of of the game, uh, but I think it's definitely cool seeing on the outside and it's very entertaining for sure. Do you have any favorite bat flipper? Can you remember of any impressive bat flips? I've, I've seen <laughs> watching, like I get to watch YouTube and see, you know, obviously the bat flips. I've watched, you know, beginning of the, the opening day and, and see some bat flips. It's, everybody has their own style and I think it's not one in particular that I can think about. It's just all different. It's just fun watching all the different styles of bat flips. There are some Korean star players that started off from the KBO and then made it to the MLB. Do you spot any young Korean talents that maybe could get a chance to sign major league contracts? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, like I said, the Lee Jung Hu and, and Kung Pek Ho, I think those guys are. Lee Jung Hoo definitely reminds me like of like the Ichiro kind of vibe, and and Kung Pek Ho reminds me of one of my teammates, Endeavors, Rafael Devers, and so um, I think, like I said, those guys have for sure potential to to make it to the MLB and, and have successful careers. Let's talk a little bit more about your future plans. Can we expect more of these contents promoting Korean baseball and Korean culture in the future? And what kind of contents do you think would be fun and interesting to try out? Uh, I mean, there's a there's a couple a couple of videos I have uh, waiting to waiting to bring to bring to the surface. But and I don't want to tip my hand and, and let him, anybody know anything yet. Uh, but there's definitely uh, more more to come. I, I'm very excited to, to be a part of this whole thing. I'm you know very very glad that this all kind of happened and happy to be where I am right now with, 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 alongside the KBO. Would you like to leave any messages for your Korean baseball fans? Um, just m the main thing I would like to say is just thank you for all the support. And, uh, stay tuned. I have some more videos that will be uploaded on YouTube and. I just really, I really want to visit Korea one day. Um, you know, be shown, be shown around. Um, you meet some of the guys and just dive into the culture. You know, I'm very interested in, in that. Thank you so much for the interview today. And before we let you go, we have Mr. James Kim, CEO of Amcham Korea, here to ask you some quick questions. It's great to uh, finally meet you, by the way. And I think you're really the goat out there. So very proud of you. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You know, my job as the head of AmCham is to really promote business between U.S. and Korea. And as you know, Korea okay. has some really large companies, Samsung, Hyundai, the Doosans of the world. Why should these large Korean companies continue to invest in Major League Baseball? And what does it mean for you? I think it's the players. I think it's more of the players that kind of make the brand, um, not necessarily the teams. Um, you know, kind of when I think about Things I think about how Yao Ming and the Rockets, you know, how that that kind of brand, Michael Jordan and the Bulls, um, you know, Chan Ho Park and the Dodgers. I think uh, get some good players that can definitely drive a market, and I think that's how how it all kind of will play out. Yes, and uh, the American uh, sports stars uh, really mean a lot here in South Korea. So I hope that someone like you would continue to take interest in Korea, and we'd love to help you. Pretty excited. I want to want to come visit. I definitely want to. Definitely want to come visit here really soon. The U.S. Ambassador to South Korea, Harry Harris. He's also from your hometown of Tennessee. He's a big fan of yours and, uh, you know, he actually wanted you know, a couple of questions for you. How has the transition been for you uh, from, from the East Coast to the West Coast? Uh, it's definitely a big difference. Uh, obviously, the time change is, is the first thing I can think about. I mean, I'm three hours, three hours difference is, is a lot, you know, in, in the baseball world. And 
Um, but everything's been pretty close to the same. You know, I love my teammates. I have a great set, of, great group of teammates here with the Dodgers. Um, front, front office is great, and so uh, I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time with them because of all this. But um, you know, the time that I got to spend with them was definitely enjoyed. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting back out there with those guys. Uh, I'm sure in Los Angeles you might have uh, spent some time in K Town. Is there any specific food you like, uh, you know, from K Town or Korean food that you particularly enjoy? Thinking about it, you know, when I get there, I'm definitely excited to, to hit K Town, and I want to try uh, the Korean barbecue there. I've had it, I've had that a few times, but I want to try it in LA. Uh, Korean fried chicken and uh, some kimchi. I think those are kind of my my top top things that I want to try when I, out in LA. And uh, obviously, after COVID-19, uh, we wish you the best in your you know professional career, and hope the best for you in the future. Thank you, thank you for having me.